everyone my name is Marie welcome to my channel and welcome to another speed build so for today's video I'm actually renovating an apartment in San Myshuno and this is the 2A Jasmine Suites apartment the Jasmine Suites apartment are up in the what's it called I think it's the spice district of San Myshuno is it called the spice district I'm pretty sure it is it's the more like family friendly area which has um the great schools straight and stuff like that um it has a little basketball court it has the spice is it called the spice festival oh my goodness i am totally spacing out on all of the gameplay things from city living but i'm pretty sure it's like the the spice festival or like the food festival i'm not exactly sure but anyway, it's up in that area of San Myshuno, and that's also my favorite area of San Myshuno. I think it's because it is so family friendly and I love building things for families. It's just what I love to do in this game. Um, so that's probably why it is my favorite um, area of San Myshuno. And I also just really like the Jasmine Suites apartments. They are very long and skinny and kind of awkward to renovate. Um, but I made it work. They are also, they also have like the tallest wall height, which is something I actually really don't like in The Sims. I hate building with the tall wall height, but it is also a fun challenge. Um, so yeah, for today's video, I'm renovating the Jasmine Suisse apartment and I'm actually furnishing it for two teenagers. Now, I mainly <laughs> did that because I was looking for an excuse to build something extremely cutesy and colorful with like all of the pastel colors, lots of plans, um, very cutesy, just extremely colorful and maybe a little bit too much, maybe a little bit over the top. But for The Sims, I love it. And honestly, I would love to play in this apartment. I think it would be so much fun. It's so cute. It's a little bit much, like I said, so I can totally understand if this is not your thing. But I really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, as an excuse to go for all these crazy pastel colors, I was thinking I could furnish this for two teenagers. And I was thinking that they were roommates or like best friends, so they're not a couple. They each have their own bedroom. Um, this this apartment ends up having two bedrooms, one bathroom. Um, so both teenagers have their own bedroom and they're not a couple, they're not dating. Now for the rest of the storyline, I'm not exactly sure how these two teenagers, like I was thinking of these teenagers as like 17 year olds. I don't know how they would end up living in the city in an apartment like this, which is probably very expensive. Um, with just th the two of them, no parents, no adults. I don't really know how that would have happened. The only thing I could think of um, is that maybe they were in the foster system before. And I'm only thinking of this because right before I, um, right before I recorded this voiceover, I actually recorded the voiceover for my previous video, which was a Victorian family home. I will link it down below if you haven't seen that one. But for that house, I was thinking of two teenagers being fostered, living with their foster parents in that house. So, which is why I was still kind of on that same um, train of thoughts, I guess. And I was thinking that these two teenagers living here, maybe they used to be in the foster system. Maybe they like moved houses all the time, moved foster families a lot. And then when they turned 17, they got like, I don't know, special allowance, I guess, to be able to move to the city and live together without an adult being present. I have no clue how that would work. I don't know how realistic that would be, but I was just kind of thinking as um, of these two teenagers as being very responsible. They probably had jobs ever since they were able to have jobs to kind of save up money to um, at some point move into a place of their own, which is what happened. So they are living in the city, just the two of them together. They obviously still go to school. They also have jobs. They're very responsible in that sense. And I thought that that could be a fun storyline. So that's what I went with. It, it's not realistic. This apartment is way too big for two teenagers. Um, it's, it's, 
It's just not realistic. It would be way too expensive in a city like San Myshuno. I don't know. I just think it's not realistic at all. But this is The Sims and I can just kind of do whatever I want and not care about stuff being realistic or unrealistic. I like to do very realistic things mainly, but then sometimes it's just a little bit of fun to uh, do something that's a little bit less realistic, I guess. So that's definitely what I did for this apartment. It also has very nice furniture. It has a lot of plants, as you probably already saw. Um, so I was thinking of one of these teenagers as a, um, a plant lover. They love plants. And also, again, I was looking for an excuse to use all the plants from the new kit. I'm still very much obsessed with all of the plants that we got in that kit. So um, I was definitely looking for an excuse to use all those plants again. So yeah, I was thinking of one of the teenagers as being a plant lover. So I included all the plants and then the other teenager I wasn't so sure. I was thinking that they could be very much into sports, but I didn't really reflect that too much throughout this build. I mean, their bedroom is not as um, full of plants as the other one. And I also included a little bit of sports clutter on the floor and a couple of sports posters as well. So I don't know, I was just thinking of that teenager as a sports lover. They love to play sports. They probably go downstairs to the basketball court um, outside in this neighborhood. They probably use it a lot to play some basketball, stuff like that. So yeah, I was thinking of them as a sportsy type. And then the other one is definitely, definitely a plant lover. And they also have a cat, which I think could be very cute. And it was just something that really fit with the whole vibe of this apartment. This apartment is very colorful, very cutesy, as you can see. I mean, I'm using all of the pastel colors and then I'm using bright yellow curtains. It's a little bit crazy, but I had so much fun with it. And I was also very, very happy to be able to sit down and build this apartment. I did this, I started this apartment yesterday and then today, like a few hours ago, I actually finished it and oh my God, I was so happy to be sitting down and building like I am so happy right now to be sitting down and actually recording. I'm recording two voiceovers in a row and I'm just so happy to be sitting here recording because for the last like week and a half, I haven't had time at all to either build or record. Um, which I didn't really have anything to record because I didn't have time to build. So I hadn't, so I didn't really have any videos lined up. Well, I mean, I did have the uh, Victorian family home, my previous video. I did have that build already done, but I just didn't have time to do a voiceover. So I'm so happy to be sitting down today and have time to record all these videos. I also want to do some gameplay videos, but I also have tomorrow to do that. So that's very exciting. But yeah, basically I have just been so extremely busy and I started my new job about two weeks ago, which is all good and fun. Um, but I really need to figure out a new schedule because when I was working my old job, I had this like whole schedule like set up. Um, to, so I had it all figured out. Like I knew exactly when I had time to record stuff like that, but now I have a new job and I have a new schedule with that. So I need to kind of reinvent my whole uh, recording and building schedule as well, um, which is what I'm working on right now. But then again, last week I was extremely busy because I also had a lot of theater stuff going on, which I don't really have that as much this week. So that's nice. So that finally gives me a little bit more time to sit down and build and record and I'm so excited about it. So yeah, for the rest of today, I'm recording these two voiceovers right now. And then I think for the rest of the day, I will be building while watching Christmas movies in the background. And let me tell you, I couldn't be happier about that. I am so excited for Christmas. It's actually Thanksgiving today, isn't it? I'm in Europe, so we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but it is December 25th today. So I'm pretty sure that it's Thanksgiving, which, so I don't know, I was gonna say happy Thanksgiving, but this video will be up, I think next week. So yeah, it's not gonna be Thanksgiving by the time you see this, but I hope that your Thanksgiving was great if you are in the States or anywhere else and you're celebrating Thanksgiving. I hope your Thanksgiving was nice. I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm in the Netherlands. Um, that holiday doesn't exist here. 
However, I am celebrating Turkey Day and Animal Crossing. So I'm getting my fair share of, um, of Thanksgiving as well in Animal Crossing, which is my favorite thing to do. So yeah, I think I'll also be playing some Animal Crossing later today. But yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. I'm so sorry. I'm just so happy to be sitting here talking to you guys. And I hope you're enjoying watching this teenager's apartment come together. So this first bedroom that I'm doing is for the sports lover, teenager. Um, once again, in this bedroom, I'm going crazy with all of the pastel colors. I used a lighter blue for the wallpaper and then I combined it with some green accents as well. Um, and also some lighter pink accents. So yeah, just very cutesy, very pastel-y. I placed a couple of decorations on their little nightstand. Um, I love this bedroom. I think it's so cozy. And then the other one, I love that one as well. That one has a lot of plants. I don't know which one I like better, actually. I think I like both of them. But yeah, I cluttered up this room with some storage boxes and stuff underneath the, um, underneath the, um, what's it called? End table that I placed next to the bed. And I used this bright artwork in this bedroom. I love this bright artwork. It's in base game. If you have never seen it before, it came with an update not too long ago um, where they added all these gorgeous bright artworks made by um, simmers in the community or just artists in the community. So yeah, I, I love this one, especially. I think this one is my favorite. I mean, I love all of them, but this one is like so big and so colorful and I love it so much. So I placed it in here and then I gave both of the teenagers their own desks as well. They both have a laptop, which is very nice and makes this apartment very expensive as well. But I just thought it was realistic. I mean, teenagers these days, they would probably have laptops. Um, so I gave them laptops. They probably need them for school and stuff as well. And I don't know, I don't actually know if these teenagers would be planning on going to college. I mean, maybe they are, maybe they, maybe they are planning on going to college while still living together in this apartment. I think that could be a fun storyline that they will be, um, roommates for a little while longer and then once they graduate college then they will probably go their own way or maybe even then still stay together i don't know i just think that that would be a fun little storyline to play out and it actually makes me super excited to play this storyline or at least make the sims which is something i never do i never really play around in cast except for when i'm already playing a game like for my legacy challenge or stuff like that. I love playing around in cast, but just randomly playing around in cast without really intending to play with those characters. I never really do that. I'm also not the best at cast. Like I'm a builder for sure. And then some people are so great with cast. Like sometimes I see these wonderful Sims like on Instagram or Twitter. And then I just, I don't know how people do that. How do you make Sims? that are so gorgeous, that are so unique, so pretty, so, I don't know, unique is the only word I can think of right now, but I just, it's, ugh, people are so good with cast and I don't know how they do that. I honestly don't know, I could never, I'm such a basic sim creator. I love it, I have fun with it, but yeah, I'm not the best. I'm also kind of impatient. Like if I've done one or two outfits, then I'm kind of over it and I want to move on to the next sim or I want to move on to playing, but then I have all these outfit left, all these outfits left to still, still plan. And sometimes I just got a little bit impatient. I don't know, but yeah, as you can see, you can really see the second bedroom come together as well. Um, I used a lot of plants in here, as you can see, and some nice artwork. This whole bedroom also kind of has a little bit of a boho vibe and so does like the living room area of this apartment. It's kind of boho inspired with all the colors and the furniture and stuff. But yeah, um, that was actually already it for this build. So let's just jump right into the game and I'll quickly show you the apartment in real time. So here we have the apartment in the game. It's very colorful, very overwhelming, but that's exactly what I was going for. The colors are very soft though. So I feel like it's not too bad, but it definitely has this teenager vibe to it, in my opinion, at least. At first I was very tempted to install the tool mod and swap out this bright red front door. But 
then I decided to actually embrace it. Since this apartment was already going to be so colorful and so overwhelming, I figured, you know what? I might as well just go ahead and embrace this front door. So that's what I did. I created this little entryway with an archway, as you can see. So it's still kind of hidden, but you can still see it. So for this entryway, we have this little end table with some decorations and a nice mirror with the stickers on it. Over here, we have a nice little chair where they would probably dump their school bags and their shoes and stuff like that. And then above the chair, we have this little coat rack as well. Then over here, we have the very spacious living room and it's definitely kind of boho inspired, as you can see with all the plants. And this couch actually also really helps with that whole vibe. I love this area where the TV is. I just love this bookcase combined with this shelving unit. It looks so cozy, so cute. This gorgeous hanging plant in the corner, I just think is so beautiful. And they also have a gaming console, which is nice. And just a lot of clutter. It's very messy in here. Now, this little item over here on the wall is something that your Sims sometimes need to reach because it sometimes breaks down and then your Sim or the landlord need to uh, repair it. So I still wanted this to be accessible, but I didn't really want to leave this corner empty. So all that you have to do to make it accessible is grab this little item with the plants on it, move it out of the way and just move it back and then you're good to go. So it's very easy to make this little item accessible, which is nice for gameplay purposes. Then over here, we have all of the plants in the window. As you can see, I place a couple of gardening tools right here as well. So you can really tell that a Sim has been busy taking care of these plants. Then we have a cat tree over here in the corner as well. And then we have an additional little dresser. I was more so thinking of this as a little storage unit where you can store books and other little like random knickknacks. I have a dresser exactly like this in my house with these little drawers and stuff like that. And it's full of things that I never use. So I really feel like this little unit would be the same. I place some decorations on top as well and some more plants. And then over here we have the kitchen. I love the kitchen. Once again, kind of overwhelming, a lot of colors going on, but I love it. I especially love how this is decorated with, once again, this little shelf with the upcycled tea cans. I just think it's so gorgeous and I can't stop using it. And then this shelf with some teas and some other little decorations. I just think it's so cozy. And then over here we have the dining table as you can see and a little food bowl for the cat over here in the corner as well. Then in here we have the bathroom slash laundry. I always love including laundry for apartments. I just think that that's so realistic and so much fun. One thing I actually forgot now that I'm showing you this is hampers and I can't change it because this apartment is already up on the gallery. I am so sorry. I totally just remembered that I forgot to uh, place hampers. Why do I always do that? So yeah, if you go ahead and decide to download this apartment, please make sure to put a couple of hampers in the bedrooms and then you should be fine. But yeah, this is the bathroom. Very colorful, very overwhelming, but I definitely love it. Then over here, we have the first bedroom. This is the bedroom for the sports lover. You can't really tell by the bedroom that the Sim is into sports, but I did play a couple of sports equipment items over here. And then I also use these sports related posters and place them on the wall. So, I mean, that kind of tells you that the Sim is into sports, but that's really it though. I love this desk. It's very cluttered. They both have their own laptops, which is very nice, but also quite realistic, but it does make this apartment a bit more expensive. But you can always just delete those and travel to like the library or something if you want to use a computer. But over here, they have their closet, as you can see in a nice little chair. And like I just said, no hamper. I'm so sorry I forgot, but there is space to place a hamper in here. You could always get rid of the backpack and just place a little hamper, for example. Then over here is the second bedroom. They also have their closet and just a couple of shoes lined up. Once again, you could easily place a little hamper right here, maybe delete one of the plants or not even just maybe just delete the shoes and place a hamper. I don't know. It's very easy to, uh, to place a hamper though. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. But this bedroom has a lot of plants once again. This this gorgeous hanging plant in the corner and then this hanging plant as well. This teen would also be very much into reading, I was thinking. So they have some extra books in their bedroom as well and they have a few books on their desk as well. I really enjoyed using this typewriter laptop thing from Cottage Living. I just thought it really complemented the whole style of this bedroom, but that's actually it for this apartment. So this teen's apartment is on the gallery as a room. So if you want to place it in your game, just place it in the 2 
a Jasmine Sway's apartment in the Spice District. Also with apartments, you always have to delete a couple of walls to make the whole thing into one room. So just make sure to check the apartment for any missing wall pieces. I mainly just deleted the walls behind the doors, so that should be very easy to fix. Just make sure to enable bb.move objects and then you shouldn't have any issues placing this. It does come in at just under 54,000 simoleons. It is very expensive. I once again have no clue how two teenagers would be able to afford this, but I was just going for something a little bit less realistic this time. I was just really having a lot of fun with this whole apartment and this little storyline. So I hope you don't mind, but that's actually it for this build. So I really hope that you enjoyed this one. You can obviously go ahead and download it off the gallery. Like I just showed you, my username on the gallery is Simmery Sims. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims as well. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.